cut. Hi, all you beautiful. Yes, I'm at Obhan. And my husband, my cat's scratching on the window. My hubby's gonna have to go and open clean. Hi, all you beautiful peoples. So um, this video is gonna be um, kind of an extension of the insulin video where we discuss carbohydrates because um, with the diets uh, that you guys, that my contestants have sent me back, um, I've realized that um, there is definitely some confusion as to uh, understanding carbohydrates. Now, um, in the beginning, I told you guys, I didn't want to tell you guys what my diet consisted of, and I really I shouldn't have, because I think the confusion is with the amount of carbohydrates that I'm actually eating, um, that you guys think um, you can, <laughs> I forgot my, my, uh, my thing, that you guys can have the same amount of carbs. Um, and guys, you have to remember something. I'm not dieting right now. I'm not prepping for a competition. I'm on a maintenance diet. When you guys have um, dieted down to the body fat levels that you want to be, so say you've dieted down from 30% body fat, you've now reached 15% body fat. Obviously, um, you're not going to be dieting for the rest of your life. So you will reintroduce um, healthy carbohydrates back into your diet. Um, the diets that uh, the my contestants have sent me is extremely high in carbohydrates and all the wrong carbohydrates. You have to know, if you look back, like this whole insulin thing, um, my hubby is going to explain to you why carbohydrates make you fat. In a minute, I'm going to get him up and he's going to sit down and he's going to do that. But the reason I'm allowed to have my Cachicoline Crunch with yogurt at night is because I'm on maintenance right now and um, the amount of carbohydrates that I'm getting is enough to... Um, not make me fat because first of all I'm working out really hard so I'm burning all those carbs off and even if I'm not working out because I have the amount of muscle I have uh, my body still by me just sitting or lifting my arm up or sleeping I'm still burning carbs the whole time because of the muscles that I have the muscles need the carbohydrates that I'm eating to be able to function however when you are on a diet Okay, like you guys are right now. Remember, I'm not on the same diet as you. I'm not trying to lose weight at the moment. It's a whole different story when I diet down for a competition. Okay, um, that happens twice a year. If I go to compete, I go on a diet and my diet is stricter than your diet will ever, ever, ever be. Because the only thing that I eat when I diet down for a competition is meat. Nothing else. I don't eat vegetables. I don't eat fruit. I don't eat anything. So for weeks and weeks and weeks, I eat meat six times a day. Okay. I survive it. I don't like it, but I have to get lean enough to be able to go on stage. And then I have to get myself dehydrated to go and stand on stage, blah, blah, blah. You guys are not in that position, but however, you guys are going to have to unlearn to eat carbohydrates. Carbohydrates, you're going to have to throw it all out of your house. And um, we are going to give you an idea. We're going to try and make lists of carbohydrates that are good for you and carbohydrates that are bad for you. I can tell you the type of carbohydrates that I would eat. First of all, um, Cashico Lean Crunch um, is a fiber. There's um, uh, proteins in it. It's very low in fat. I don't even know if, if there's fat in it. It must be a little bit blah, blah. Another one is oatmeal. I can have oatmeal. If you are dieting down, you cannot have oatmeal because oatmeal, although very low on the glycemic index, only gets used for training. So if you want, uh, the only time that you guys are ever going to be allowed carbs is on Monday, Wednesday and Friday when you guys train and you're going to have your carbohydrate directly after your workout so that your muscles can use those carbohydrates, okay? The rest of the time, you guys are not going to actually eat carbs. The only carbs that you will get is from your vegetables. Um, you guys are sending me diets and there's stuff like uh, cereal. People... I will never in my life ever have cereal again. If I eat cereal, I will go back to being my size 12. Cereal is gone. It's a goner forever. Throw it out of your life. Don't walk past the cereal aisle. Don't go down the cereal aisle. You have had your last cereal. There is nothing in cereal that's healthy for you. I don't care if they tell you there's whole wheat in there. It makes no difference. Um, uh, carbohydrates is carbohydrates. Whether you eat a... Uh, uh, the thing raw, whether you eat it half milled, whether you eat it full milled, whether you, you eat it fine grind, carbohydrates is carbohydrates. And when you diet down to lose fat, you cannot have carbohydrates in your blood. There's people that's eating cereal on their diet. And I, guys, I'm not, I'm not chastising you by any means. I'm just um, now understanding that you guys are really struggling with understanding 
the carbohydrate thing okay so when I'm explaining to you please please don't feel like I'm chastising you you guys have seen me diets and I can see that you guys have worked extremely hard to put these things together but there's still a little bit of a misunderstanding as to what 33% carbs is okay I'm going to tell you what 33% carbs is. You're going to have your eggs and whatever for breakfast. Then you're going to have meat after that. Then you're going to have tuna after that. You're going to have cottage cheese after that. Then you're going to have something else after that. And then somewhere along the line, you're going to have two cups of vegetables. In that vegetables is your 33 grams of your, your carbohydrates. In the cottage cheese you're going to eat, there's some more of your carbohydrates. Um, in your... Um, um, all of your food already has the, the carbohydrates in it. My cat's back in, in here. Um, it's already in your food. So you are not going to actually take anything that's a carbohydrate and put it in your mouth, okay? You cannot have trail mix. You cannot have energy bars. You cannot have, um, uh, what's the other bars? Um, no, you can't have protein bars right now. When you're on maintenance or stuff like that, you can have a protein bar. But for dieting down, you can't have any. And what, what's the other thing that the kids like so much? The, um, the, the little bars that they eat? Okay, guess I'm doing the retarded square thing again. You know what I'm talking about. Like cashigoline bars and che che chewy bars. Yeah, what are they called? Okay, I'm getting irritated because I can't remember it, so I'm just going to skip it and pass on to the next thing. Um, there's no trail mix in there. There's no... All of those things have carbohydrates, people. You can't put carbohydrates in your mouth. The only carbs you're going to get is from your vegetables, okay? Um, sweet potato is a, a, is a good carb to have when you're not dieting down to lose fat. I'm on a whole different place than what you guys are at, okay? So that's a reason I'm allowed carbs. When I diet down, I have no carbs. When you guys are losing fat, you cannot have carbs. You have to go back to my insulin video where I explain to you every single carbohydrate you put in your body, your insulin takes and it stores it in your fat cells and stores it everywhere instead of you guys. And then it's impossible for you to burn fat, okay? So you cannot have that. Your main thing that you can eat on your um, six meals a day is going to be proteins, okay? Your proteins, and I've done the two videos on protein um, sources for you guys. So choose from that. Go and look at um, other things. What you can do, however, is pre or post workout, you can have a little bit of a carb. Uh, the idea would be something like blueberries or a banana or a protein shake with um, a quarter cup of um, raisins or something sugary, but this yay much and only, only, only after a workout, okay? Nothing before, like the rest of the day, there's nothing. On the days that you don't work out, you just do your rope skipping or something, there's no carbohydrates in there. You're going to have meat and vegetables six times a day. That's it, okay? So um, I'm going to now get my hubby. I'm. This is going to be a, sh well, this is a long video already. I've, I've rambled. Uh, but I'm going to get my hubby to now come and discuss good carbs and bad carbs, oatmeal versus potatoes and carrots and those kinds of things um, and then we will hopefully be able to I'm actually going to my what my husband's gonna do is he's gonna send you a sample diet for a person of 200 pounds because um, from the diets that I received from you guys you completely short on protein and way 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 high on carbohydrates you will never lose rate you will, will never lose fat at the rate that you want to um, if you eat those carbohydrates so we're gonna send you a sample diet um, and then you guys can kind of add a little bit to that if you're over 200 and subtract a little bit if you're under 200 but your um, it will kind of give you guys a better idea I don't want you guys faffing around in the dark like this anymore you're struggling too hard and you're working yourselves to death so um, we're going to send you that but I'm going to get my hubby out now and attach to this video I'm going to put his video that's going to explain everything about good carbs and bad carbs so have a lovely day and I'm going to see you a couple more times uh, over this week and weekend and um, we'll talk soon bye bye